I'm here to give a brief overview of Skagen Kontiki in January. The fund got off to a very good start to the year. It was up over 6.5% in pound sterling, which was ahead of its benchmark, which increased by nearly 4%. There were a few changes in the portfolio. We sold out of one company and there were three new entrants. The portfolio overall remains very attractively valued versus its benchmark on both an asset and an earnings basis. And we believe there is considerable upside to the tune of around 40% in the portfolio. Performance has been strong for the first month of the year. Contiki outperformed the index by just short of 3%. 2012 was obviously disappointing, but if you look at the returns of the fund since inception in 2002, the returns have been very strong versus the index. Generally speaking, the outperformance was driven by some very strong returns from some of our largest holdings. Asian car manufacturers featured on both sides. Uh, on the winners, Great Wall Motor announced a positive profit warning with earnings expected to be around 66% higher than the previous year. On the negative side, Hyundai announced results that were below expectations, although there were several one-off items in there, including the compensation payments to be paid in the US for the misstating of the mileage of the cars sold there. Baker Hughes, on the positive side, announced results that were better than expected. And on the negative side, the list was topped by Samsung, who announced record fourth quarter and full year results. But a depreciation in the Korean won meant that although the share price remained flat, it was a negative contributor to the fund. There were a few changes to the fund in January. Firstly, we bought into a company called Cardemir, which is a Turkish steel manufacturer. We like Cardemir because it is high margin, high growth, and valued at a discount to its peers. We also expect it to be a beneficiary from railway infrastructure spending in Turkey. We've bought into two Vietnamese funds. We've liked Vietnam for a while because of the long-term potential in the country and the attractive valuations there, but it is difficult for overseas investors to invest in the country because of ownership limits. That's why we've chosen these two listed vehicles to gain access to attractive Vietnamese companies at a discount to net asset value. We've sold out of one company, China Mobile, which has been a long-term holding in the fund and a very successful holding in the fund solely on valuation grounds. In summary, it's been a very good start to the year. and We believe the outlook, both for emerging markets generally, but in particular, Skagen Kontiki are very positive. Thank you very much for watching.